do a length check. Yo guys, so I have not done a length check on my hair since I had my dreadlocks. And I think when I measured it, it was probably 13 inches, maybe? I feel like it was 16 inches at one point, or something like that. But I have not done a length check on my hair. I haven't measured my hair whatsoever. Just kind of like looked at it, seen what it looks like judged it off of that. So in today's video, I'm gonna be measuring my hair and kind of explain how I've grown my hair and how I've maintained the growth. And I feel like it's all plain and simple, but I'll explain what I did. I do wanna mention greatlocks.com, which has all hair products. If you have dreadlocks, you can shop all dreadlock products. And say you have curly hair, you can shop all curly hair products. Or if you have hair in general, they have all hair products on there. And also some specific tutorials and product reviews and everything like that are on there as well. So I encourage all y'all to go check out greatlocks.com, but let's check and see how long my hair actually is. I'm really excited. Hopefully it's really long. Um, I'm expecting it to be long, and if it's not, I'm gonna be, I mean, I won't be really mad. I don't even think I'll be mad at all. I have high expectations right now. So I'm gonna take my hair down. I'm gonna take it down this side. Cause like the front, I know for sure, the front, like my hairline area, my hair is a little shorter. Probably be a better idea to do this while my hair was like kind of straightened out or blown out. But I mean, as long as I stretch it out, it should be straight. And I do know one thing that the hair in the middle of my head, I don't know if that grows quicker, but either way, it's longer on the top, like in the middle. Like if I stretch that down, it's like the same length. This is like a rough estimate. I'm not really pulling my hair all the way, mostly because my hair is really curly. But let's see. Ooh. All right, I lost, I lost one hair in the measurement process, so that's that's not good. My hair is 14 inches. See that? This is this is how long my hair is. A good 14 inches. I would say the bulk of my hair. Now I'm not talking about like all the way down to the tip. Which, if I were to go all the way down to the tip, it'd probably be about 14 and a half, maybe 15. Um, especially if my hair was like thoroughly come through and everything like that. But I would say the bulk of the hair, like saying where it kind of breaks off, you know, there's like some thick hair and then it starts getting kind of straggly at the ends. I would say it breaks off at about 13 inches as far as the thickness and all the bulk. But I'd say it's pretty good, pretty soap. I think right now is the healthiest my hair has ever been as far as, you know, my tips and no breakage and the strength, the elasticity and how juicy it is. Come on. So I've actually done something recently that I've never done before in the last four years, and that is trim my hair. I've trimmed my hair twice already, and that was because I had so much breakage after combing out all of my locks. So I did that first trim, and then I just did another trim last week. And it was mostly because of just breakage at the tips. And the only reason I did the second trim is because I really was like not trying to cut my hair the first time, and I barely like skimmed the tips. And then the second time I was like, you know what, I really need to actually take off some of the ends because it just makes your hair knot up so much if your ends are very thin and broken off. So that is why I trim my hair twice. And that's why my hair is at its most healthiest because there's not really any broken ends and all of my hair is about the same length. Now I can say personally, hands down, the easiest way to grow your hair, now just saying hair, I'm not saying any hair type, would be to get dreadlocks. And the reason why it was so easy to grow hair for me from my personal experience, and I'm not saying the only way to grow your hair is to get dreadlocks. I'm saying the easiest way as far as the mindset. Because if you're growing your dreadlocks, there's so much you have to do in order to keep up with them and maintain them that your mind isn't stuck on how do I keep growing my hair. And it's not really so much stuck on how long your hair is, but it's stuck on how do you maintain it and how do you keep up with it so that it looks okay. I can say right now I was more attached to my dreadlocks than I am to my hair now, my curly hair. So it was easier to grow them out. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna cut my hair or anything like that. And I'm also saying don't be too attached to your hair to where you don't wanna cut it or switch it up or anything like that, because it is just hair. But I can definitely say from my personal experience, having dreadlocks helped me grow my hair for that long because I told you guys multiple times, I tried to grow my hair out so many times back in you know middle school and back in high school. And it was always hard for me to accomplish. I don't know what it was, but I would always grow my hair out and then cut it. And then every time I cut my hair, I'm sure you guys have experienced this too, after I cut my hair, I would always regret it and be like, man, I want my long hair back. And that's why before you make a decision like cutting your hair, you always wanna remember, why did you start growing your hair? What was the purpose of it? But you guys, that was my personal experience. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys some products that I've used along this four year journey of growing out my hair. Obviously my hair would be a little longer if I never went the dreadlock route. And I'm not saying that I chose dreadlocks to grow my hair out. It was just a style that I wanted and eventually wanted to comb them out to have my natural curly hair. And then that's the whole process and what I did. Like I said, I didn't do any of that just to grow my hair out. I did it because I wanted a dreadlock hairstyle. And now I have curly hair because I wanted a curly hairstyle. Now some of the products that I use now are all the Texture ID products. I literally use all the products that they have. But the products I use mostly is their shampoo, their conditioner. I use their leave-in conditioner and I also use their styling foam. 
and I also have their deep condition mask, but I've only used that once. Now, all these are my favorite products. They make my hair smell really good and they make my hair look really good. But overall, they're just my favorite products right now and these products can be found on greatlux.com. I'll leave links to all of them in the description. So you can check out all these if you have curly hair. Now when it goes back to my dreadlocks, I used so many products in the four years that I had my dreadlocks. I'm literally gonna list off every product I used just so that you guys can see what I used. And I'll list them out in order in which I actually used them. So to start out my dreadlocks, I literally used a face towel. Yeah, a face towel. I wouldn't recommend using a towel. I'd actually recommend using a dread sponge or a curl sponge because you can start your dreadlocks out with yeast. And then next up to that, I used a crochet needle. And this was just a way for me to maintain my dreadlocks to hold in all that frizz and pull in a bunch of new growth and blunt off my tips. Like I've mentioned many times, if you have this product, you don't need any other product and that is the crochet hook. The third product is very crucial as well. I use Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. And I love this stuff, I love the way it smells and I love the hole that it leaves on your roots when you twist them. And it just overall works really good. Now another product that I used about half a year into my dreadlocks was an interlocking tool. I interlocked my dreads for about a year and then I started to not interlock them as much because I was going for a different look. But interlocking is a quick way to lock up the roots of your hair. Now when it comes to washing my hair, I used the Dr. Bonner shampoo, which I wasn't a big fan of, but it works if you use it correctly. But then I moved on to one of my favorite shampoos when I had my dreadlocks was the Neutrogena Tea Gel. Love this product because it helps with buildup on the scalp and, and if your scalp is itchy or anything like that, it helps out a whole bunch. Now an alternative to Tea Gel would be Tea South from Neutrogena as well. And this actually has a stronger formula to fight off dandruff and dry scalp. Now that is everything I recommend when I have my dreadlocks. And now that I have my hair outside of dreadlocks, I think the best thing to do to keep your hair growing and keep it healthy and natural would be to wash your hair on a regular basis. Me personally, I like to wash my hair once a week and it all just depends on how your hair feels and how your scalp feels. But for me, it's typically one week and you don't want to wash your hair every single day or every other day because then your scalp's going to dry out and you got to add all this extra product in and you don't want to build up on your scalp because that's going to stunt the growth of your hair. And that's where a lot of people run into problems with growing their hair out is they have so much buildup on their scalp. Now, of course, your hair is going to keep growing, but it's going to be irritated if the scalp has buildup. So I'd say wash your hair once a week, sometimes maybe even once every two weeks because washing your hair is good, but it's not good to overdo it. Another thing is don't put too much product in your hair because that again will lead to buildup because you don't want to strip your hair of what it naturally produces. Because believe it or not, if you think about way back then, like what were they using in their hair? Now, I think somewhere down the line they were using like mud and stuff like that. But I think the biggest thing they did was just like use water and then wash the hair that way. Now, of course, there are natural soaps that come from the earth, but I think the biggest thing is just make sure that your hair is hydrated and your scalp is hydrated. I feel like your hair is kind of like a plant. If you water it and take care of it, you should be straight. And I think the biggest thing out of all of it is just be patient and don't put a whole bunch of thought to how do I grow my hair quicker? Or how can I grow my hair overnight? Or what's the quickest way to grow my hair out? I think the biggest thing is just to enjoy your hair right now, the way it is. And that helps you to take the stress off of trying to grow your hair fast and then just enjoying your hair. Because if all you're doing it is just to grow your hair out to a certain link you're gonna get bored but you guys those are some products and some tips from me and that is the length of my hair right now it is 14 inches long i think but you guys hopefully enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com other than now i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys do an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out and god bless